Hello, welcome back everyone to another 5 Minute Friday where I try to pause an idea or unpackage an idea in 5 minutes or less. So today's concept that we're going to be looking at is uh, you're old and out of touch or you're old and you don't get it. So that's a popular phrase that we get a lot. Uh, it goes a lot with, uh, you know, it's my life. So we hear that one a lot. It's my life. Uh, and so maybe I'll tackle that one uh, another five minute Friday, but we time is of the essence here. So this idea of being old and out of touch, you know, of course you can find uh, you can find circumstances where this is the case. But for the most part, I think we look at age the wrong way in this country uh, and in modern society. So anything that's old is bad right off the bat. Right. Because only new ideas are good. Uh, that's, you know, new ideas have helped us in areas like technology. And so now everything must be a new idea or the old idea is bad, right? Well, I think we kind of look at that, you know, youth and, and trying to live forever. That's something our culture, you know, tends to be obsessed with as a Christian to live as Christ and die as gain. And, uh, you know, I know that everybody's going to get old. There's no sense in hiding it. There's no sense in being ashamed of it. In Proverbs 16:31, the Bible tells us that gray hair is a crown of glory. Why? Because that shows your wisdom. You've been alive. You know, my my children, they try to argue with me, but, you know, as the expression goes, I, I actually have shoes that are older than them. You know, through time, the passage of time and experience is where you acquire your wisdom, okay? Um, so I believe in God, and I believe that he's a designer. I also believe that he's an artist, but I also know that he is a designer. And he has designed us and built us with some really amazing features. And I talk about that in some of the other videos that I've done. His design for us is a lot like a computer. We have a hardware and we have a software. And, uh, you know, our body is our hardware. And our when our brains are developed, uh, they're not developed until our early to mid-20s. So that's one strike against being young right off the bat is that your hardware is not finished developing. But even when it does finish developing, you lack... The resources needed to run that hardware and that is you need life experience to put in there so you have a software that can produce wisdom that can help you create judgments and decisions that are very beneficial and very wise but you have to feed it something you have to feed data into this thing before it can start making proper calculations okay and I think that's something we should be very sympathetic to in a modern age where science is heralded as a big deal. Now, I think a lot of times science is just a, a, a word we use to throw at people as a weapon. We don't really intend to, to use any science at all. We're just saying, hey, I'm right. Don't disagree with me because of science. Uh, when, you know, that's the furthest thing from what science actually is. And oftentimes I feel like, you know, the episode of South Park where, uh, you know, the people are arguing, my science is better than your science. Uh, you know, and they've made science their new religion. But, you know, in a, in a culture where we do value science so much, or at least we say we do, we pretend we do, except for when it disagrees with us, you know, we should be very sympathetic to this idea because you can't have an, an accurate model if you're feeding it incorrect data or if you have insufficient data, right? And when you're young, it's no fault of yours, but you are working with a insufficient data, you know? My parents... You know, they're older and wiser than me. And, you know, they're going to continue to be older and wiser than me. So I'm going to continue to ask their advice sometimes, you know. As I get older and wiser, every once in a while the tables turn. And I'm thankful for that. I appreciate that they love me and they respect me. But I'm always going to hold them in admiration because they've made good decisions in the past. And they a lot of the things that I'm going through, they've already been through. And so there's nothing wrong with being aged. It, it, we should respect that. Okay. And, um, you know, I, I personally grow so much every few years. You know, uh, I could say, you know, when I was when I was 18, I look back at when I was 16, I'm thinking like, wow, what a completely different person. I was so dumb back then. You know, and then I look back, you know, at at 18 when I was 20 or 21. And, and then I look back and say, man... At 18, how childish and ignorant was I? And then, you know, at 25, I look back when I was 21 and think, wow, what a baby, you know? And now when I'm 
you know, in my thirties, I'm thinking like, wow, when I was 29, I was like a adolescent, you know, and you know, as you grow, you'll, you'll see that you should see that if you're not, that could be alarming because uh, you might not be growing, uh, but, uh, you should be growing. Right. And so you should be recognizing these same kinds of things. And so I would just say that gray hair is a crown of glory and that this idea that someone's uh, someone doesn't understand just because they're old, it's, you know, it's true they may not understand where you're coming from as much, or but they probably do. They probably had the same exact thoughts. And uh, if they seem intolerant to it, it's probably because they've already lived through it and they hate to see someone make that same mistake. All right, until next time, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It's probably a very wise decision. My science is better than your science. My science is better than your science. My science is better than your science. My science science. My science is better than your science. My science is better.